Okay, here we go. Uh, making terrain textures for Unity and Substance. You can have access to all of the Adobe Community Substances as well. Uh, if you just search this, it comes right up. You're going to have to log in with your Adobe account, but then you're able to download these as uh, SBSAR files. Um, I downloaded a couple of them. Yeah, here's uh, Sandstone, SBSAR. And so to import this, you could just drag it into Substance. You have to tell that uh, it is going to We want to import it to our entire library. And yeah, OK, it's already set the base material. OK, usually you have to tell it it's a base material, or I did just the last time. I don't know. Um, and so now uh, I want it in the library all the time, so I say import. And now we get the sandstone in there. Cool. And so now just to edit things here, I'm going to make a new uh, file. We'll set it to 4096. Uh, and I made a just plane in uh, Cinema 4D to use here. So just a flat plane. There we go. And so now, uh, now we can you know, put something on there and then export this from Substance Painter into a format that's going to work in Unity. Let's try, this is another one I found on Substance Share. Let's do this first. I bring this in here as a fill layer. There we go. Um, if you select it over here, you can make your changes. I don't like that this is so, let's move this down. There we go. There we go. Um, I want to make it more of a. I'm going to desaturate this a little bit. Uh, so in the color, I'm going to right click and say uh, add a filter to the color channel. and color correction. You know what, I, I wanna control the color a little bit more here. I'm gonna go gradient here, this way, Get this a little bit easier. Uh, and so now we can choose different colors of a gradient. Let's make this a little oranger, about like that. For the mid. Maybe kind of like that. There we go. Cool. And so this is controlling what part of the, let's make this a little oranger. There we go, I like that. And uh, I want some other tiny detail in here. I feel like this is a little soft for 4096. I'm going to make another layer just to get us some smaller detail. And so let's make a new fill layer up top. And we're not going to touch the color, but I want to put some maybe height information in here. And I'll grab one of the, uh, there we go, one of my grunges maybe 
There we go. I'll drag this into the height. There we go. That gives me some smaller detail on there. Um, and our balancing contrast here, at, we can sort of dial this in right here in, in terms of uh, whether we want more or less of this. If we were on height, there we go. Now we could dial this in. Yeah, there it is without it. Here it is adding some smaller detail. Cool. What if we use this to add some roughness as well? I'm going to drag that same map into the roughness channel. And up here, again, under roughness, we could dial in how much of that we do or don't want. There we go. All right. I don't like that one color. Let's come back here to the color a gradient. There we go. Great. All right, that looks like a canyon wall kind of thing. It's got some smaller detail. Great. So now let's go to, um, I would save it first. We'll call this uh, canyon wall. We'll tell you, we'll click in there. Canyon wall terrain map for Unity. And then we'll export these maps. So export textures. We want to make sure we're using Unity Universal Metallic. And knowing where they're going. And we're going to make multiple ones. So I'll make a new folder. This is Canyon. Wall textures and select folder and uh, let's export those. Cool. Now let's paint them in Unity. So back here. Here. Uh, not this project. Let's get the terrain project open. Give that a second. That should open right up. Cool. Uh, now, if we want to work with this, this terrain here, for instance, I'll select that terrain. I've got this project here where I've got multiple terrains. Well, we've got this one terrain right here. And we're not raising or lowering the terrain. We're painting on it. Uh, there you go, paint. There you go. Paint textures. There we go. All right. Uh, now we need to create a new terrain layer to bring in here. And so I'll go uh, create layer. Actually, let's bring in our maps first. Uh, so let's bring those in. Cool. We should have a roughness map, normal map, and a color map. Let's bring all those into Unity. Got to remember the normal should be set to normal map. There we go. Apply. Great. Now back to our terrain. Uh, we will create a new layer and grab the color channel. Oh, it exported as test plane. I'll change the name later. There we go. 
uh, there we go. And now if I select this one, I can provide the extra textures. So the first one is the normal map. That one goes in there. And the other one is the mask map, which is the black one, or this is the roughness and a few other things. That goes in there. Great. And so now with this selected, I can paint that map on there. So let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's give it just a regular color so you can see it. And now if I were to come in here, I should be able to paint that. The tiling is usually kind of off by default. So coming in here and changing the settings of the size, let's say 100 by 100. There we go. And now I could paint that in there wherever I want. The opacity makes it much fainter, sort of mixing it with the other one, you know, as you add it in. So you can make a you know larger one, not that big, maybe this big. Sort of paint it in there, makes it like painted it onto the other one. And so you're starting to mix some of these maps together. So you can have a pretty and we, these are the patterns that it gets put onto the wall with. For something where we're trying to overlay it here, right? Uh, the pattern shows through way more if the opacity is up. You can see that way way more there. Cool, let's make one from scratch. So come back here to Substance Painter. Cool, uh, I'll save this. And uh, yeah, so that's you know using one of the ones there as a default. We could also, also make some of our own patterns from scratch. Let's make another new one. Bring in that same here. 4096. Okay. There we go. All right. And so now I'll create another fill layer. And we can do the same thing to sort of create uh, a base layer of color. There we go. And so I'll bring this over to the color. All right, that gives us something to start with. And um, same thing, let's go ahead and right click and put a filter on there. We'll give it color with the gradient. This is going to need some more detail in there. I feel like I could overlay something else. And so let's make another one. this on the base color again. 
And this time for the base color, we'll put it in, we want to brighten up the one below with this one. And so we'll put it in, let's see, what does overlay look like? And then what if I do the same thing? Add a filter for the gradient. And you can see how that's starting to give us some more different values laying over top of the other one. The blend mode would have a lot to do with which colors you pick here for the top layer, as far as brightening things up or not. not. And then you can, there we go, that gives us some more detail over top of that thing. Cool. All right, let's give this some height. Uh, so back to this layer, and we'll go down here to the height channel. And this is Grunge Map 10. I'm going to drag that into the height as well. There we go. That helps a bunch. A little too grainy. Maybe this could have some. The balance here of the height map because they're dial things up and down. <laughs> and yeah, let's dial this in some more on the height, we'll add a levels on the height, there we go. And so here this lets us dial in this, let's see, that's too much, like this over here. And let's make sure that the roughness, in this case, we're making rocks. So we want our roughness kind of low. Same thing here. There we go, that's better. A little bit higher. But probably a little bit of information on the roughness. So I'll come over here and drag another grunge into the roughness. And then another levels to dial that in on the roughness. There we go. And make sure that the top part is not kind of like that. There we go. So another one sort of rock texture directly from scratch, just using some textures. So again, uh, save as. And you can explore it and go through the same process again.